from the launch of the enhanced NSC marketplace in October 2022, when I came here immediately after the elections, and now the Lindsay Sukuk bond. These are not mere coincidences, but reflect a steadfast commitment to fostering a dynamic and inclusive capital market. The NSC stands as a cornerstone in our strategy to mobilize long-term capital that is vital for fueling the programs and projects that are core to our bottom-up economic transformation agenda. In 2022, the government pledged to provide land and horizontal infrastructure for development of affordable housing, substantially lowering construction costs and making it possible and feasible to offer homes at between 30 and 40 percent less the market rates. I challenge the private sector to support national housing and infrastructure projects then. I am delighted by your response and commend your effort in crafting this landmark asset-based security, which has the potential to enhance efficiency in the delivery of our priority projects through optimal financing costs. I am also encouraged that the funds raised from this bond will facilitate the construction of 3,069 affordable housing units thereby generating thousands of jobs across the country, expanding commerce in many aspects of uh, trade, um, uh, aspects of uh, supply, uh, traders, uh, and many other aspects that will bring this together. The structure of Lindsay Sukuk aimed at providing housing at an average of 1.4 million shillings, significantly less than the current average, enables Kenyans to own homes by paying as little as 7,000 for 15 years. This initiative not only makes home ownership more accessible, but also represents a scalable model for investment in our affordable housing program, attracting long-term investors including local pension funds. I'm very happy to listen to Tom Mulwa and what they are doing with uh, Dr. Kili on this space. And I am very happy that today we are launching a product that brings Islamic financing put together by the Nairobi Stock Exchange to facilitate public housing. That, that is the essence of public partnership, public-private partnership. We're using private funds. We're using private funds to deliver public housing. It is the model that will leverage more resources beyond what government can do that private money can facilitate home ownership, private money can, pro, uh, can, can facilitate public housing. In this particular aspect, our security forces will benefit from the housing that is going to be constructed using the resources that we are raising using this Sukuk board. And it is my commitment uh, to the people of Kenya that housing is going to be a major product. Many people have asked me, why are you using public land to deliver housing? I mean, what else was public land supposed to be used for? Because in many cases, if we don't use public land to deliver public housing, it ends up in the hands of a few other people by other means. So I am committed to making sure that we create more homeowners in Kenya. As, as I have said before, we have a mortgage industry of about 40,000. We can expand that to between 
one and a half and two million mortgages by making sure that we have housing products that are affordable to the majority of Kenyans. You can only do that if you have innovative mechanisms that allows us to deliver housing and housing products at affordable prices. And I'm very happy that uh, the private sector is coming on board to work with us in this space. As a financial instrument compliant with Islamic law, the Sukuk highlights the importance of Islamic finance in promoting financial inclusion and broadening market access. This aligns with a global move towards more stable and robust economic growth, unlocking Islamic financial assets currently valued at approximately $5 billion. The high demand for Islamic financial products, both domestically and internationally, is evident from the successful issuance of sovereign sukuks in countries like Nigeria, Egypt, and Malaysia. This opens avenues for diversifying our financial resources beyond traditional bonds and loans and enhancing our financial resilience against interest rate volatility. If we were to deliver the same product using a loan, it would cost us interest of 22%. We're getting it at half that amount. So if there is anything in the realm of innovation, this is what it is. That resources that would otherwise be available to us at 22% interest, using this Sukuk product, we get it at 11% interest. And for 15 years, that's really good. I mean, it cannot get better than that. And um, I, I am very confident that, uh, in, in fact, if, if we were to look for such funding, we would get it at 22% for five years. If it was 15 years, that would be a different number. I'm not quite an investment banker like uh, my good peers, but I know that it, 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 it would be a lot different. So um, we are walking in the right direction, and, and I want to commend CPF, Liason, and uh, uh, Patrick Mariro from uh, my Ministry of Defense for working on this. With today's listing, the Lindsay Sukuk joins a portfolio of innovative financial instruments on the NSC USP, including the Elam Fahari Income Real Estate Investment Trust and Akon Up Real Estate Investment Trust. However, the absence of a centralized Sharia governance board remains a significant barrier to the broader adoption of Islamic finance. To address this, I ask our financial regulators to collaborate with the national, treasury, and Islamic finance stakeholders to develop a robust regulatory framework that will support the growth of Islamic finance in Kenya, which has tremendous potential to unlock our investment resources and boost our economy.